We are crossing the Great Bahama Bank. Um, we, uh, he's awake this time. I was awake, I heard. You were asleep last video. Um, but um, yeah, after everyone telling us that we'd need a boat as big as Bimini to cross the, uh, the bank right now, and we have been humming along, granted, not much of a sail plan up, a couple reef and probably about six feet of the jib. But we've been making five and a half to six knots all the way across. So, uh, yeah, we're about a quarter of the way across the bank already. So we're going to get to the other side by 1, 2 a.m., way before we expected. So I think I should just expect this boat to go faster than, <laughs> than I expected to. Um, but the sun's going down now. It's going to be cold. We're both in, in jackets here. So we have jackets and a sweatshirt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just... Lots of chat, chitter chatter. We're in 10 feet of water right now, and we are entire. We've been out of sight of land for an hour and a half now. Um, if it were calmer, you'd see little black spots because you can just see the bottom of the ocean here because the water's so clear. But yeah, we had. It's been golden hour here for like an hour. Like God rays coming through all the clouds and stuff, and just like it's just been absolutely stunning. A, a dolphin breach just behind the boat. Earlier, so it's gonna be dark until about ten o'clock. The moon comes up at what, nine o'clock. We get some clouds. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a very very pleasant night if it doesn't get too cold. Um, the good thing about the bank is that there's nothing out here to hit. It's shallow, but it's all consistently shallow. There's no shipping at all, and we went during a time when every other cruiser said, "What the hell are you doing?" Like I'm gonna. Like, just worried we're going to make it, you know? So, we're totally fine. Just, like, we're going to be up all the time. Um, but we're not really going to need much of a watch. <laughs> like, it's just going to be... The wind's supposed to come around. So, right now, it's from the northwest. It's going to come around to the northeast a little bit more on the nose. Um, and we're, we're, we're close hauled. Well, not, it's like a close reach, but we're comfortable. But much closer to the wind, then it's not going to be very comfortable. Um, and if we head any further south, like there's a specific light that we got to cut through over there. And if we go further south of that light, we got to go 60 miles south around a giant Andros Island that is completely, seemingly uninhabited. Um, so, yeah, sun's falling off of the world, and we're ready to <laughs> boogie our way to Chub Key. Um, to anchor somewhere for the night and then get there tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's gonna be a fast one, it's gonna be a wet one, but whatever.